Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you would like to get a personal reading. There's a link in the description box below. In the link, there link my link tree. Just click on that and <clears throat> yeah, go ahead and be a member. Join the Virgo gang. $2.99 per month. Can't beat that. All right, so let's take a look and see what the rest of March has to bring. So already starting with the runner, codependent, sorry, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to their ego. You've got love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction, and photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, want to make new memories. Okay. All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on. This is going to be a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So keep that in mind. The messages may or may not resonate. So just don't try to make it fit if it doesn't fit. But as always, entertainment purposes here on YouTube. Personal readings are not. Personal readings are real. Personal. Okay, so Ace of Cups. Okay, so you've got somebody here who is codependent and they run from intimacy. They have a fear of intimacy. And when that love, that new opportunity for love and blessings and, you know, all that good stuff, like, you know, the Ace of Cups can sometimes represent, you know, having a baby together or marriage or things like that. You've got somebody here who is like, uh, nope, I'm out. Ego is too big, full of pride. Um, maybe they could be somebody who runs like their like physical activity, but this person is just, yeah, they, it's like they just, the, the opportunity comes when new love comes or a new opportunity for love of some sort, not just love itself, but like, you know, in, in being vulnerable and having a, a potential new love start, it's like, no, they, they just, they run, they run from it. Okay. And hopefully Virgo, you're not chasing. Okay. What else? Yes. There you go. Knight of Wands. So this person is more or less, oh, we'll find out who it is. It could be a Sag, could be a water sign. This person is more or less, they're coming in for that passion, but when it gets time to have that emotional intimacy, because that's what that Ace of Cups is, emotional intimacy, then they're in and then they're out and they run. This might be like a um, good time Charlie, good time good time Cassie I don't know it's just somebody who's in for a good time and then they run so if that's resonating for you um and you're confused then you might want to take a look like this person might even be all physically attracted to you lusts after you has like says all the right things maybe even a little bit of a player energy usually the knight of wands in reverse is more of someone who's scattered and a player but this is someone who isn't really scattered i do feel like there's something in particular about you okay where um i don't feel like this person's really a player so to speak but i feel like you know they come in with this lusty up you know whatever and then you know as soon as there's they might treat they might act like um want to be your partner but then they maybe they're secretly just trying to do a friends with benefits thing i feel like that's the energy of this whoever this person is for you okay they run they're always in movement the knight of wands um this is like um uh born for leaving this person born for leaving let's take a look and see what else what else does we're gonna need to know about this runner energy Okay, yeah, a lot of exciting communication messages, uh, crush energy for sure. There's there's definitely, like, if you guys communicate ideas, plans, yes, let's do this, yes, let's do that. Like, all this excitement, you know, um, thinking, talking about it, but their action is more towards the physical. They like to have fun, okay? So um, if you are dealing with someone like this, if you haven't spoken, if they reach out to you, this is really their intention here, what they're looking for. It's it's very non-committal because even with the Ace of Cups, the Ace is still, the Ace is just an Ace. It's a potential. 
there's nothing solid really about this. Now let me see. Let's see what else this Virgo needs to know. Okay, there you go. So a little bit of a heartbreaker energy. So it could be, um, th there's the first court card. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, a, like very conservative and, and very focused on their business, you know, um, looking good, um, always like the money. So it's like, this person does not have time for a relationship. You know, they're very steady as far as their career goes and their work goes, you know, and, and that seems to be a priority for them. And, you know, they come in. It's like Good Time Charlie. They come in for that lusty passion, uh, intimate, physical intimacy, that kind of thing. But then with the Five of Swords, then they, they cut off. They do a cut off. And, they, and so like when they are focusing on their coin, they're cutting everybody off. You know, anybody that wants it. I don't like the energy personally. Um, but this, if you're looking to have something more with this person, I don't see it for the rest of March here. I feel like this person is just that five of swords. You know, whenever I look at the five of swords, they're holding the three swords. So that's like discord. That's disagreement. Um, that could represent divorce. It could represent argument. It could represent a breakup or, you know, pulling away, cutting off discard kind of energy not right now yeah so this person <laughs> could be an aries this person is they're the king of kings pretty much in their mind you know listening to ego they're calling the shots they call the shots in their relationships um it's pretty much there's the the emperor is like an it's not demanding energy but it's commanding like you will do what i say you will do it my way my way or the highway ah, yeah that's kind of what's going on there okay what's going on there and this person is just all about their coin they're all about their business they're all about staying on top huge huge ego now the Emperor in the reverse can be a really nasty ego. It could be very narcissistic. I don't see this person being narcissistic in, in as far as the DSM defines it, but I do think that they're very high in those traits and they're very much like, it's all about me. If you can't give me what I want, I'm going to run away from it. Um, as soon as the intimacy, emotional intimacy comes in, I'm going back to work. If you can't, you know what I mean? Like I just, mm. So in March, that's pretty much the energy for this person. One more, they said get one more. Okay, so two of wands. This person's always at a crossroad. They can never make a decision. They might have a hard time making decisions when it comes to love, you know what I mean? So they weigh, they make plans, they think about what the future could be like, but they're always stuck. So this, this is pretty much like I mean, the two is about partnership, and I do feel like this person wants to have a partnership with you, but it's on their terms, Virgo. There's no really, like, in, if you're, if you, you might be running away from this, but if you're that that Virgo that's like, no, I'm going to be there for them, and I'm, I'm not going to leave, and okay, that's fine, let it be the way they want it, I just want to have them in my life, then that's a decision that you're making, um, because like they're making their own decisions. This is how this person wants to continue living their life, okay? So if you're kind of hoping for this, you know, marriage kind of thing, I'm, I, at least in March, I'm not seeing that here with the rest of March. Now, I will say you do have love. So this is unconditional love, self-love. And I feel like this is really important in conjunction with these other cards that you really need to focus on yourself and loving yourself and, and having boundaries and accepting things. Like if you found yourself chasing someone who was not going to be able to give you what you want, you may need to just face that and forgive yourself and um, just kind of like be more loving towards yourself. Let's take a look here. Like if somebody's not able to meet, yeah, see, there's the three of swords. Some kind of heartbreak. Virgo, just need to just start loving yourself, Virgo. Let this energy go, is what they're saying. OK, 
okay? If there was like this person was, you know, maybe because I see here, and I'm gonna just show you this because this, this is how it gets done here. You see the Three of Swords, there's three people, two people hurt walking away. There might've been like you and another person that they're just not committing to anybody. Like whoever is willing to be available for them for what they want, then they're in. But when it comes to the love and the, and the emotional intimacy, anybody who wants that from this person, or if it's your person, um, they're like, they take what they can get. It's always, they, they leave it as a potential. And then they're like, okay, no, that's not for me. You might need to break your own heart. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Virgo, uh, I feel like the Six of Cups and the Page of Swords is telling you to take a look at this person. Are they really as sincere and kind and honest as you know or gentle or loving or um did are they did they really did they just come back to break your heart like what you need to take a cold hard look at this person okay whomever they are to you because i feel like they may be the type of person that comes in like i said before with just this sweetness and this kindness and gentle and really giving and all but then if you want more then you know, like i said they kind of dip out and i feel like they're just non-committal or they're not capable of deep intimate emotional intimate love and i think maybe because the six of cups is you know it's 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 sweet now maybe this is someone you had a reconciliation with you know or the past came back but you know, maybe you saw or you see things in March with this person that upsets you and you may be deciding, you know, or maybe you actually just see things or just the energy and you're like, you know, I'm just going to end this. Yeah, Virgo. I mean, it's one thing like, how much you you may love this person is one thing but are you being loved in return because relationships you know loving romantic relationships require vulnerability and reciprocity um if you feel like that's not coming back and this the, the energy's not matching then i don't know virgo i feel like it it might be time in march if you if you haven't done it already to really like be honest with yourself Maybe you are curious about them or like what's the deal with them. You might be like, what the hell is going on? And then look and see that or maybe you find out that they're giving to somebody else, you know, um, or are you're curious. I'm not saying that they are, but you're curious that uh, what's going on with them. Why are they not meeting your needs? You know, it might be very triggering for you. Okay, here's the King of Swords. This is cold-blooded. This is like a reptile. King of Swords, air energy. Very cold. They're being cold with you in March. Oh, gosh. Seven of Swords. Yeah, because they're running. This is a running away card. They've just cut off any emotional connection here. So the Seven of Swords is just, it's an energy of deception, trickery. You might need to start calling a spade a spade in March, Virgo, and see someone not through rose-colored glasses, but for the truth, because the Page of Swords is all about, yeah, their silent treatment. So somebody here, this person, um, they ran away and they're being quiet and they're being silent. Yeah, they dipped. Because why? It's what I see here. They're just focused on their coin. They're focused on their business. They're focused on their ego. Mmm, Virgo. One more. There's no communication. And you might have tried to initiate communication. Just try to overcome obstacles. You might reach out to them. Um, and they may reach out to you as well. 
if there's no no talking here but again again it's another ace so it's it's an energy of uh let me just talk or see something to virgo so that i don't know why why would they keep you engaged perhaps if you decide that you're like done with it and you're just gonna start loving yourself let me see why would they communicate hmm the sun leo energy why would they initiate communication with virgo oh to make sure you're still happy with them virgo it looks like you're gonna be done with this maybe i don't know after this reading i'm not telling you what to do but if it's resonating and it's just validation for you um if you're not communicating with them because they're not like they just you know they ran away or something they are going to try to reach out to you in march um just because it's all it's just about them because they don't want you to be done with them but they want you to be okay with them being done with you when it's convenient for them you know virgs my virgos come on now let's be realistic all right so you know um even if you do reach out to them that's gonna make them happy and joyous but that's not gonna change this five of pentacles that's not gonna change this struggle this struggle energy which is still there okay so look this person is like they're looking at you virgo they're watching looking at your photos now oh, they'll be missing you trying to come in and making those new memories like the six of cups there let's take a look looking at your pictures oh okay virgo if you walk away from this person if you're just done you're just like it's done it's just the show's over everybody's going home <laughs> um there's nothing else to see here everybody move it along i, I feel like yeah what's this what's this five of cups remorse regret for not what for themselves and another ace <laughs> uh, virgo i feel like this person thinks they can dupe you with potential i do and the ace of wands you know uh, i should have done more i should have planted more seeds or remorse and regret because you might be because you're growing um or because you're you're planting new seeds in in your life in march let's see let's see this is more or less i feel like regret and remorse for self this based on the context of the other cards this person's sadness yeah i'm missing you is more about them than really it is about you this is like feeling sorry for yourself this is like self-pitying you know because there's two cups right here behind this person that's you and them. maybe this person always wears black it's you and them okay the opportunity is right there but they're not looking at it they're not seeing that the two cups are right there to start and have something great they're looking at all their losses all this spilled cup you know they're crying over spilled milk seriously the milk that they spilled and they're looking at perhaps you your photographs um you're making new memories in your life you're being nostalgic if then this is based on like you i feel like a lot of you maybe already cut this off or you are going to be doing it let me say what else is coming up here I knew that was going to show up now you got the king of wands all right that is fire energy looking at your photographs okay there's a there's a fire sign who's checking you out they are looking 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 watching 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 sun moon rising or venus aries leo or sag watching 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 uh grief that maybe you're gonna have a new start with someone else they might see that and oh my god you're kidding oh they're not gonna let that happen oh no 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 no! they're gonna bring things back into balance here they come something to do with a lifestyle change i'll change my life i'll, I'll stop doing this I'll, I'll make changes 
coming in swiftly and quickly towards you because nine of pentacles is a Vir virgo card oh virgo there's so much drama why does there have to be so much drama like if two people like each other like why can't we just see if it can go further right why does it have to be so much high school bullshit like seriously games you know virgo i don't know i'm gonna see what your advice is here What is Virgo's advice for this whole situation? Okay, you got the Knight of Pentacles. High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles. You have four aces in this reading, Virgo. I just cannot even believe it. Four aces your advice here is to go within go on your own as far as compare like versus with like in conjunction with this person is to the high priestess is she's secretive she's you know here you know masculine or feminine you listen it's an energy the energy is she's she keeps her secret she's wise listen to your intuition listen to the wisdom the ancient wisdom <laughs> And um, I kind of feel like another opportunity will come to you, but but don't rush into anything with anyone. The Ace is what you want. The Ace of Pentacles and the and the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, wait for this. This is tangible. This is real. This isn't like up in the clouds. It isn't all just about the passion. It isn't all just about the emotion. This is someone that comes in steady, makes real offers, isn't in a rush, isn't playing games, isn't running. This is someone who is coming in with the real, like it's, re it's here, it's real. This is the real deal. Okay. And I feel like when the opportunity comes, this is what you want. Like this is... You know, like if somebody, if you're, if you're working every day and you get your paycheck, whenever you get your paycheck, right? If, if they gave you a paycheck, okay, um, or if somebody paid you with like peanuts, yeah, it's real, but is it valuable? No, I guess unless you like peanuts and you're hungry or you're an elephant, but you're not, you need to pay your bills and you're, you know, your car payment is going to get paid with peanut shells. So this holds value it's not only tangible and real but it's it's worth something pull your energy back virgo trust your gut on this situation because you know it you're listening to this and you're like yeah i know it i just didn't maybe i didn't want to hear it maybe i was hoping for something to change yeah they're going to come in with this change this lifestyle change like oh, i'll do this i'll do that but remember it's a night it's in and out and at least Get your equilibrium, get yourself back in a place of self-love, self-acceptance, reminding yourself that you're worthy. If you're dealing with an energy like these are grown girl, grown boy games. These are child's, it's child's play right here. I mean, I know some of you um, are up there in age and it's like, wait, wait, what am I wasting time on this person for who can't meet my needs? Because maybe they're telling you they can or they're making promises. That, you know, they got that, you know, um, uh, what do they call that? This person is writing checks that their ass can't cash is what I feel like is going on here. Virgo, that's your advice right there, okay? That's for you. Now, I know this is very specific, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. But somebody here, I, I suppose, needs to hear this. All right, there you go. You and this person don't share the same vision. You're on different pages. And some of y'all trying to like, well, let me just get on their page. Let me just write myself into their logbook. You know, um... I don't think so, Virgo. You just don't have the same vision. This person just does not want what you want. And that's okay. Give yourself that time to be on your own. You will heal. The heart heals. It does eventually. You know this. Give yourself that space. Go within. Um, go silent. In a sense, go off the radar. Spend time with yourself. Go outdoors. 
enjoy your social activities give yourself that opportunity to do that okay so you can like allow new love to come into your life right because it's going to come but it's going to come when you start valuing yourself seriously okay here play hard virgo take this time to yourself for the rest of march and however long you need find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other friends family members co-workers go do stuff everything happens for a reason and you got to get into this place where it looks like you need to accept the situation because it's not going to change good things aren't going to happen until you accept you have to be in a place of acceptance you have to be real with yourself and accept what something is not what you hope it to be don't gaslight yourself not what you want something to be just kind of like well it is what it is this is what it is and there's no sense in ruminating or dwelling on something let's see if we can figure out what this person's chinese sign is okay so the year of the dog year of the ox year of the goat year of the rooster year of the rat year of the horse year of the pig and year of the dragon okay that was so straightforward right there i can't even believe it um let's get a couple of chinese messages here for you guys and then we'll get into like the charms stay for the charms okay wow i love it nature interact with nature in the outdoors around animals farmlands or by the ocean this will be good for your soul and healing for you love it if your weather is nice go out and enjoy it or even if it's snowing go go out in the snow and build snow angels make snow angels or if you're in a place where it's raining all the time go stomp in some puddles and have fun you know whatever i mean like don't go out in hurricanes and blizzards and you know that kind of crazy stuff i mean but this is, some of you might be adrenaline seekers if, hey whatever makes you happy you also have perseverance you may feel like you're getting nowhere but there are wonderful changes ahead don't give up so that's even like for yourself virgo don't stay i like to say keep your expectations low but be positive See what else does Virgo need to hear? Assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate connections. Birth of a child is also likely. Okay, that could be a birth of a child for you or someone close to you. It could be uh, getting ready to have a baby. But this is like, you know, go after what you want. You can't, you know, as far as like another person, don't go after somebody who's running. And what are you going to do? Like lasso them in? Just leave that. You got tough and trying times. Tough times ahead. Think long term. And make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs, Virgo. You know, if you are in a, this type of a relationship or a connection with someone, this is not where you need to be making emotional decisions. You need to be making logical decisions. When you're in a healthy, intimate relationship with someone and it's positive and it's good and that kind of thing, then you can use you can make emotional decisions you could express yourself emotionally but with someone who is running away or has a fear of intimacy or is listening to their ego this is the time for you to be level-headed with this person because all the love in the world is not going to change somebody you could love someone like this until they're blue in the face but they have an empty hole they're void and they will always be running and seeking just to understand that people who run from love like they have a great fear of it and we either operate from a place of love or we operate from a place of fear, right? So you've got change. A change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cart is on the cards. You're restless and in need of a change, and that is exactly what is coming your way. Ooh, I like it. Virgo, I like this for you. Let me just drop in some gems here for y'all. Okay, let's see. Let's get some initials, numbers. Oh, Year of the Ox, right there. Somebody's going to be sending you those OXOs. I'll tell you right now, you're going to get some, like, I don't know, some kind of, like, it's either written, written kisses or, or um, getting some kisses. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe from a child. Maybe from your dog's going to be licking you or your cat. Um, 
Okay, someone's 38. We do have September 5th. We have September 8th. Somebody might be 58 or 62. We have the number 62. We have 90. Okay, someone's 50. We've got the letter S. We also have September 22nd. The letter N and the letter M. Uh, someone is 30. Someone's 55. Um, the letter I. That was a V and then it was an S letter. Okay. Someone plays The Sims. Do people play Sims still? I guess they do. Sims. Okay, August 31st. Oh. All right, the letter A. Someone's born in May. Or someone's name is May. There's August again. Definitely in August. All This is for all you August birth dates for sure okay letter d someone's born in 72 september 14th someone's 42 okay the letter b someone's name starts with the b someone might be by 1984 okay someone's 37 we have the letter e letter y We have the letter K and 1977, but I also see two L's in someone's name. Oh, K-E-L-L-Y. Kelly. What? Look at that. That just kind of like shot out at me. Kelly. Kelly, 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 Kelly. And now I'm a Kelly, but I'm a Kelly with a Y, so. I mean with an I, so. I'd be different. I'm different. All right, let's see what signs are showing up here. A little more, all right, first, little, yeah, a little more specific for the zodiac sign Virgo's dealing with. Aquarius, Pisces, Capricorn, double confirmations. Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini, and Cancer. And give me another qualifier for a September birthday, September 6th. Okay. Oh, they said one more Zodiac. Scorpio. All right, let's get your charms. What charms? Something here that Virgo needs to... Oh, oh, oh. You got a cleaver, and you got a die. Or a dice die. Dice is two, right? Plural. Dice is plural, so you got one dice. Number five represents uncertainty and change. And you've got a cleaver. <laughs> Please don't use a cleaver on anybody. Maybe somebody's a butcher or because that's uh, or chef or cooks or does some kind of cooking. Um, this is also reminiscent of like cutting. So some of you need to cut the cord, like not just with the scissors. I mean, you need to get the damn cleaver and just like boom, cut the cord, Virgo. That's the message here. Maybe you already did and it's time to stop ruminating and just get out there and go have fun and distract yourself or whatever. But um, you're rolling the dice with this person, Virgo, I feel, if you decide to keep it staying with them because there's just a continuous uncertainty. You just be in limbo with somebody here. I feel like that's a really important message. Someone here needs to hear that. Yeah, I know it's not for everyone, and I know some of you are going through some stuff and you're dealing with some stuff, and that's fine. Maybe you just need a little boost. You know, we could always go over to um, the extended reading if you're interested to see if anybody new is coming in and if so, who they are and what you have to look forward to. All right. So, oh, whoa, stuff just fell just out of the blue off my shelf, just like that. There's no window open. There's nothing going on. It's very still in here. I feel like you might need to go see that extended reading. <laughs> they give you something to look forward to. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description box below this video. All right. Um, so yeah, you guys. Uh, oh, I forgot. Yeah, don't leave yet. If you're a new member, if you've just recently joined my channel, I need to give you a shout out. So hold on, you guys. Hold on. Hold on. Let's hear it for... Yeah, we got Sandy McGovern, Leslie Mayfield. We have O. 
the letter O, someone's name start with an O. Um, yeah, welcome you guys. I think I got, did I call Christopher Wynn, Shane Joseph, Christy Pope, Kimmy, Crystal, DC Limitless. I think I did call you guys, but again, thank you for joining and becoming a member. Super awesome to have you guys. And uh, yeah, let's get on with this to the extended. If not, have a fantastic night. Thank you to all my amazing mods. You guys are fantastic and awesome. Thanks to uh, everyone in the chat for showing up. I'm super, super grateful. So you guys are like diehards. I love you. I see you in there. You are the best. And yeah, I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, Please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.